In this free plugin overview, we're going to go over Isotope's newly released free mixing tool, the Vocal Doubler. What's up everyone? It's Daniel here from SoundShock Audio. If this is your first time here and you want to get more in-depth free plugin reviews, expert production tutorials, interviews with music industry professionals, and exclusive free sample packs, then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification next to it so you get notified every time I release a new video. And now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to go over the Vocal Doubler by Isotope. The Vocal Doubler is designed to simulate the audio recording technique, double tracking, which is the process of recording a track then recording a second track while listening to the first and duplicating it. When the two tracks are played back together, the result is a slight chorusing and fattening of the signal due to minor pitch and timing differences between the two performances. This effect can help make vocals or any instrument stand out in the mix. So if you guys want to download Isotope's vocal doubler, there will be a link in the description for you. So let's now hear what a natural double tracking sounds like, and then what the artificial double tracking sounds like. So first let's have a listen to the original vocal, the one that is not double tracked, and is just one recording. I can see it coming through the break of day How so deep you never want to step away On the floor vibrating is your And now let's listen to this vocal when it is double tracked When there are multiple recordings of the same singer compiled into one audio clip here I can see it coming through the break of day How so deep you never want to step away And now let's listen to the vocal, the non-double tracked vocal with the vocal doubler on. I can see it coming through the break of day. How so deep you never want to step away. On the floor vibrating is your heart and... Now let's compare that to the double tracked vocal. I can see it coming through the break of day. How so deep you never want to step away. On the floor vibrating is your heart and mind. So you can hear that the vocal doubler sounds very convincing and really sounds like the vocal was recorded multiple times to create that thicker and slightly chorus sound that does so great in recordings. Now let's go over the controls of the vocal doubler. There are only a few controls on this plugin. The first control is the variation control. This creates random differences in the tone and time of the original signal. I can see it coming through the break of day How so deep you never want to step away On the floor vibrating is your heart and mind It's the time to loosen up and feel the night I can see it coming through the break of day How so deep you never want to step away Next is the separation control. Vocal Doubler creates two slightly different versions of the original voice, and the separation control moves each of these versions to the sides of the stereo field while leaving the original signal in mono. So let's have a listen to this. I can see it coming through the break of day. How so deep you never want to step away. On the floor vibrating is your heart and mind. It's the time to loosen up and feel the night. You can also change the variation in separation by changing the X and Y graph in the center of the plugin. I can see it coming through the break of day. How so deep you never want to step away. On the floor vibrating is your heart and mind. It's the time to loosen up and feel the night. Next is the amount control. The amount is the volume knob for the double voices. At 0%, none of the effect is applied, and at 100%, the vocal doubles are the same volume as the original signal. I can see it coming through the break of day. How so deep you never want to step away. On the floor vibrating is your heart and mind. It's the time to loosen up and feel the night. And then last, we have the effect only control, which solos the doubled voices so you only hear the double tracking effect. I can see it coming through the break of day. How so deep you never want to step away. On the floor vibrating is your heart and mind. It's the time to loosen up and feel the night. And now that we understand what the plugin does and its controls, let's now go over how you can apply this 
in your own tracks. So of course, as the title of the plugin says, Vocal Doubler, we can use it on our vocals. One way that we can utilize this effect is by creating separate channels of our vocal and enabling the effect only parameter to separate the dry signal from the wet signal. So what we did here is duplicated our vocal. We have the original here. I can see it coming through the break of day. And then we have our vocal doubler vocal, which just has the vocal doubler plugin on here. I can see it coming through the break of day. And what we're going to do is enable the effect only. So it only plays the sides of the stereo field and only has the effect playing. I can see it coming through the break of day. That way we can process this channel separately from the mono signal that we have here. I can see it coming through. That won't be applied to the original mono signal. So let's say for example, we now want to do some EQing to this vocal doubler effect. Go into our EQ here. We wanna make it a little bit thinner in the mix. Make sure it doesn't eat up too much headroom and cause any mud. Go into EQ out some frequencies. I can see it coming through the break of day. How so deep you never want to step away. On the floor vibrating is your heart and mine. It's the time to loosen up and feel the... And then we want to make this a little bit more aggressive. So we'll go ahead and add an overdrive here. I can see it coming through the break of day. How so deep you never want to step away. I can see it coming through the break of day. How so deep you never want to step away. So now we have a more distorted, chorusy sounding effect on the sides, and our original is untouched here. I can see it coming through the break of day. Now we can mix in this vocal double effect with the separate processing in. I can see it coming through the break of day. How so deep you never want to step away. On the floor vibrating is your heart and mine. It's the time to loosen up and feel the night. So you can hear a much more aggressive and present sound that'll fit nicely in your mix. While the title of the plugin is Vocal Doubler, you don't have to specifically use the Vocal Doubler on vocals. You can apply this effect on any instrument that you want to beef up the mix. So let's say that we wanted to add a little more presence, a little more weight, and a little more interest to our synth lead sound here. We could use Isotopes of Vocal Doubler to help improve this in our mix. Let's first have a listen to our track. Let me go ahead and go into our lead sound here and solo it up and turn off the reverb and ping pong delay so we can hear what the vocal doubler is doing here. Now let's go ahead and adjust the separation and variation and amount to find the sweet spot for our mix. without with so you can hear a little more presence in the mix here let's add back the reverb and ping pong delay and play it in our track Now with it off. With it on. So you can hear that it is adding more weight to the sound, a nice interesting chorus effect, and spreads it nicely throughout the stereo field. So we can also use this plugin in a creative way also. To highlight certain sections of our arrangement, we can go ahead and turn on and off this vocal doubler effect to create a more dynamic arrangement. So for example, the end of our section here, zoom in, we go ahead and turn off the vocal doubler plugin. 
And we can also go ahead and turn off the ping pong delay and reverb to create a more dry and in your face sound to signal to the listener that a new section is coming. So again, all these effects will be turned off in this section. Let's have a listen to what this sounds like. So you can hear the end of that section is more pronounced and will make a great transition. So you can of course get very creative with this and be mixing up the vocal doubler between on and off in really any part of the arrangement that you would like. So you could do it at the beginning, uh, do it at the end of a certain phrase, really wherever you seem fit for your track. And that adds a lot of nice interest to our lead sound here. Another use of this vocal doubler is of course on other real instruments as double tracking is not only popular on vocals but on other real instruments as well such as guitars, pianos, keys. I'll go ahead and show you how this sounds on a nice piano sound here. Here that adds that nice chorusy and fattening sound to the piano for a more interesting timbre. So that's going to do it for this plug-in review, everyone. I want to thank you all for sticking around to the end there. I hope you guys enjoy this plugin. Once again, a link will be in the description for the free download of the Vocal Doubler. And before I sign off here, I just want to bring your guys' attention to the SoundShock Audio website, as it is currently the largest free collection of free downloads on the web right now for music producers with samples and loops organized by genre and instrument, music production apps for iOS and Android, presets for all the major synthesizers, DAW templates for FL Studio, Ableton, and Logic Pro, as well as, of course, more free plugins for you guys. Again, all organized by instrument and effects. Again, my name is Daniel, a founder of SoundShockAudio.com. If you have any questions, feel free to message me at Daniel at SoundShockAudio.com or message me on any of the SoundShock social media, and I'd be happy to reply. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.